Hey guys, welcome back at another tutorial video. My name is Fredo and today I'm going to continue the discussion about components. Basically, components are isolated from scenes, meaning that triggers and responses in a component cannot be assigned to layers and variables outside a component. Also, triggers and responses in a scene cannot be assigned to layers and variables inside a component. There's a way to bypass this. You can use the send response and receive trigger and inside the component you can use the send response to send a message which can be received by a receive trigger that is outside the component. And this would also work the other way around. Now I'm going to show you that in this video. As you can see here I have uh, three instances of a component already. So let's have a look at this component. It's a checkbox component. So if I tap here, a check mark would appear. And if I tap again, the check mark disappears. And this happens through a, a, tab, a tab trigger that is paired with uh, two conditions and two opacity responses. Okay, so let's go back to the scene. And as I mentioned before, we have three instances already. And in each of them, the text layer has been overridden. So these seem to work fine. But now what I want to create is if I check this one, that two check marks would appear here. And if I uncheck this one, the two check marks that are supposed to appear here would disappear. All right, so let's go to the component. There we go. Um, so this is the interaction that I have right here is when I tap the checkbox, a check mark appears, uh, which you can see here. So when this condition is met, the opacity of the checked container will go to 100. And here is the opposite. So I'm gonna add the first send response there we go. Move this one up here. And I'm going to use the outside component channel. And yes, there is a spelling mistake right here. This is one of the earlier builds that I'm using, but the version that you're, you're using right now doesn't have the spelling mistake. So you can just ignore this uh, for now. I'm going to use the, uh, I'm going to use this as a message. So checked. Just copy paste this one. There you go. And here I will use unchecked as a message. So what those two send responses do, they send a message outside the component. Now I have to add two interactions um, consisting of uh, receive triggers. So let's start with the first one. So a receive trigger um, outside component as a channel. The message will be checked and I need to use an opacity response. So if, as soon as I receive this message, this uh, container layer should go to opacity value 100. Then one more, unchecked as a message and the opacity response is gonna be the opposite. So checked and then zero. Let's go back to our scene. So to, to make all of this happen, I am going to need two more interactions that both start with a receive trigger. There we go, receive trigger, and I'm going to use the component channel. And then use check all, and the message would be uh, checked. Um, so what this does, it's, uh, this trigger is um, receiving a message called checked from uh, using the component channel, but it should come specifically from the check all instance. Now I need two send responses here. And again, I'm, I need to use the component channel. Check, check one, and this would be checked. And I'm going to copy paste this and just alter this. So this would be check two. 
copy paste this whole interaction and instead of checked the message should be unchecked and same goes for the ones here so I can just select both of these and then adjust the message at once there you go and let's see if it works so these seem to work just fine and if I check all boom there you go that's it for today and thank you for watching